In Islam, Muslims believe their faith is an advanced revelation from the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the Prophets, and even Jesus Christ. They believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and was born of a virgin and performed miracles, but they don't believe two very important things about him that go directly at odds with the Bible. That Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh and that he died on the cross for the sins of the world. While we have discussed in previous segments that the New Testament teaches explicitly that Jesus Christ died on the cross and that God cannot lie, here we will be showing that if Jesus did not die on the cross, this would make Jesus a false prophet. Let's turn to some passages that show what Jesus said about his own death, as we'll be looking at primarily the Gospel of Matthew but will reference the other passages found in the other Gospels. With that being said, let's get started. Matthew 16 verses 21 to 23 From that time forth began Jesus to shew unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem, and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him, and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou art an offense unto me. For thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. After Jesus had prophesied that he would be crucified, and Peter had rebuked him for this, Jesus turned to him and called him Satan. Jesus did not only see his crucifixion being essential as a fulfillment of prophecy and scripture, but saw those against his death as those of following Satan's will. This account was also recorded in Mark 8 verse 31 to 32. Let's go to the next passage. Matthew 17 verses 22 to 23. And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and the third day he shall be raised again. And they were exceeding sorry. Here Jesus prophesies again that he will be betrayed, killed, and raised from the dead after three days. Let's turn to one more passage in the Gospel of Matthew and then discuss further what this means concerning the teachings of Islam. Matthew 20 verses 17 to 19. And Jesus going up to Jerusalem took the twelve disciples apart in the way, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock, and to scourge, and to crucify him, and the third day he shall rise again. Other passages where Jesus prophesies his death and resurrection is Mark 9 verses 30 to 32, Mark 10 verses 32 to 34, Luke 9 verse 21 to 22, Luke 9 verse 43 to 45, and Luke 18 verse 31 to 34. This is significant because it is generally taught in Islam by either the Quran, Hadiths, and Imams that Jesus was sinless. The question becomes, if Jesus was wrong about his death on the cross, does that make him a false prophet? If Jesus was wrong, then he did not receive this revelation from God, and therefore he is a liar. Or the Quran is lying about Jesus, and he did die on the cross to fulfill the scriptures. Jesus died on the cross for the atonement of sin for all mankind, and he is God manifest in the flesh, 
And this is the gospel that all will be made to submit to in the last day.